This is Suga, rapper, songwriter, and producer of the biggest boy band in the world, BTS. But just a few years ago, he was very different. Suga, or Min Yonggi, knew nothing but poverty. His grandma took care of him when his mother got ill and they were so poor that they couldn't raise him properly at all. All they ever wanted was for Suga to be a civil servant so he could live a normal life and not suffer like they used to. But fate had a different plan for him. He learned how to create songs when he was a teenager and he quickly fell in love with producing music. He made it his dream to become a successful musician, which his parents absolutely hated. Suga's parents weren't always on board with the delivery of his music through rapping, even ripping up his lyrics at times because it was a genre of music they never listened to. They didn't see Suga for what he truly is and they were so sure that he would suffer if he continued to follow his dreams. And suffer he did. When he got a job at a recording studio, he was paid very little. Back then, there were nights when he would skip eating food just so he could afford a ride home. And when he did eat, he would walk for two hours just to make it home. <laughs> He even bought lottery tickets out of desperation. <laughs> These struggles didn't stop him from chasing his dreams though, which by the way made his family totally furious with him. My parents didn't understand rap. They are a generation apart from myself and they never listened to rap. No one saw his full potential, but he continued making new music. And soon enough, things started looking up for him. During an audition to become a producer, a talent management asked him to work for them as an idol instead. He was reluctant, but Suga eventually said yes, because he would still be making music and doing what he loves the most just so he could make ends meet and survive while training suga worked as a delivery boy but this would almost cost him his life while out delivering one day suga was involved in a car accident and got hurt <laughs> Afraid of getting fired, he hid his injury from his label. And when they found out, he prepared for the worst. But after finding out about his struggles and his constant fight to finally get out of the darkest chapters of his life, they kept him. And slowly but surely, this one small act of someone believing in him started a wave of people, including his parents, finally seeing Suga for what he truly is. A dreamer, a hard worker and a star. And now Suga is shining at his brightest. And it's because he never gave up on his dreams. He did anything to get there that now people see him enjoying what he truly loves. Slump the poor yes or mate Pangbot Diri in Ningo Banyan Sam Durin Yagi Hanande Oso Kunyan Kunya Hanange Kukbok Pangbot in it. Night fam, I hope Sugar's story reminds you that there will always be struggles in life, especially in the beginnings. I so strongly relate to the story of Sugar. I myself had to save up money living in the UK, chasing my dreams, people not understanding what the hell I was doing with my life. All these things are very natural and the only thing that distinguishes the people who, who make it and the people who don't is very often the amount of work they can put into their dream and the amount of risks they can take in life. Now, let me be clear, not everyone can make it. 
But what I can guarantee is that when you are on that path of growth, not just creative work, but any type of dream you have, when you are on that path, the lessons and skills you learn on that path of hard work will forever stay with you. And so, in a grand scheme, if you only work hard, sooner or later, you will reap the benefits of all of this hard work. So I love you all and I wish you all the best, no matter what your life is like right now.